Hello everyone, welcome back to Anonymous World. Hope you all are doing well. So first of all, I am feeling quite cheery today and the reasons are 500 amazing people like you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much to those who have subscribed and liked my channel. I hope this will be a long journey and you guys will be there with me till the end. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, what are you waiting for? Just click that red button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So now let's get started with today's video. Okay, so today we will solve a new room on Trihackme which is flatline created by Necrotic. So let's see what we have to do here. So there are only two questions. We need to find user flag and the root flag. This machine may be slower than normal to boot up and carry out operations. So let's start the machine. Okay, so first let's start with our nmap scan. Okay, we got one port which is 3389. Okay, there are two ports on 3389802. And let's see if uh, any other port is open there. Okay, so our end map is done. We have port 3389, where, which is uh, MSWT server, Microsoft Terminal Service. It means our machine is a Windows machine. And on port 8021, it's a free switch event server. Uh, I haven't heard of this server before so let's see what we can try here okay let's first try to connect with this port 8021 okay let's wait for the response okay wait by deceiver to look on let's see if any exploit is available on so exploit for free switch okay so there are two uh, exploits available first one is using metasploit which is in ruby file then another one is simple command injection execution so let's let's copy uh, locate this file first Okay, let's copy this file in our present working directory. Okay, let's read the content of this file. Cat foo. Okay, let's so make a Python file and copy this command there. Co copy this whole exploit there. Control X for save and exit. Let's change the permission for this file. And let's try to run this. Okay, from not find port not found. Syntax error would have expected. Okay, there are so many errors. Okay, let's see. An example is given here. We need to run the Python file, then give the IP address, then run a command. So let's try this once. Okay, our IP is 10.10.141.126. Let's try who am I? Okay, it's not running. There is a syntax error. Let's try Python 3. Okay, now it's running. Authenticated. Let's wait for the response. It may take a few seconds. Okay, so it gave us the output of OMI, so we are necrotic. Let's try some another, other commands. Uh, let's try dir. Okay, so now we can see the uh, all the directories, uh, all the files and folders present in this present working directory, which is C program files and free switch. Let's search for the user.txt. So I think we can try try dir then c users. Okay, 
okay something's wrong here let's try this again okay so there are three users administrator necrotic and public uh, let's try to see the contents and necrotic user i think we can find our uh, user flag there Okay, then contact desktop documents. Let's go to desktop. Now, why I'm going to desktop? Because in many machines and CTS, I've seen that in Windows, and we can find our flag in desktop folder. Okay, so there are both the flags actually root.txt, user.txt. Let's see if we can access both of them. First, let's uh, press user.txt. Now we will use type. To read the contents of user.txt okay so we got our user flag okay now let's see if we can read the root.txt I don't think we will no, we are allowed to read that file it must be something permission denied or something okay ERR no reply I think we are not allowed to access that file uh, we can okay now let's try to get a reverse shell let's see our IP first okay it's 10.9.0.132 Okay, let's create a uh, let's get a reverse shell first. We will use MSF Venom. So we will use uh, Windows then Metaprinter. Provide the L host. Uh, we just saw mine was 10.9.0.132. Then give a port. You can use any port. So let's see. I, uh, I will use 1234. Then file type which is exe. And then your file name okay so let's create this okay so it's finished we have got our file which is payload.exe okay so now let's transfer our payload file in to the desktop of necrotic user so first we will need to start a python server start your python server and uh, and then we need to upload that in uh, here so we can use powershell powershell invoke web request URI then give the URL so it's HTTP 10.9.0.132 then port number it was uh, we started our server port 8000 and then the file name okay then specify where you want to upload the file so C then users desktop okay so let's see if this is working it will take few seconds okay let's see if it's transferred okay no let's try that again okay so there is one error i left one hyphen between invoke and web request let's try this again okay let's see if we got our file okay so now we have our file payload.exe now let's create our metaprinter session
okay so use multi handler then we will set our l host and l port so our l host is 10.9.0.132 and the port which we are using is 1234 then we need to set our payload okay now let's run this okay so started reverse tcp handler let's uh, now run our payload.exe file sorry uh, there will not be a dir let's see if we get a reverse shell or not okay sending stage okay so we got our metapeter session okay so all the files are present here since we are in metapeter or uh, let's first see get uid we are necrotic since we are in metapeter system we can use get system okay got system via technique one now let's try get uid again cool now we are anti-authoritative system now we can read our root file easily so let's go to cd users okay now we are in program files let's go back okay now we are in our c then we need to go to cd users then we need to go to desktop okay, sorry cd necrotic i will directly go into desktop what a drag man okay so here is our root.txt i think now we can easily read our root.txt file okay so we got our root flag and we are done with our machine flatline so that's all for this video i will see you in the next video till then keep learning